Be day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we, we, we rejoice in this day, what's before us, what's behind us. Lord, what's expected of us. In all of it, Lord, we ask that you will bless and guide us. We ask for the strength of will to know when to speak and when to keep silent. Lord, help us to be a presence of peace in people's lives. And we pray for others in their lives and their struggles in what we might encounter that we aren't able to help them with, that they will find the help they need, that they will take a path that leads them to an abundant life, a life that is in Christ. And Lord, we pray for those who have decided to take their own way and in their discernment have been led down the wrong path. They are deceived and they are convinced that their way is a right way, that what they want is what they should take. Lord, too often that leads us to places where we hurt one another, where we work against one another. And Lord, you call us into fellowship. That is what it means to be in your Holy Spirit. And so, Lord, in as much as we would be confrontational, Lord, let us bring a presence of peace to difficult situations. Lord, help us to be gracious and charitable, loving in all we do. And Lord, hear our prayers as we come to your word in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. In the Old Testament today, we're looking into Proverbs. Proverbs reading in chapter 29 at verse 11. It says, A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it in till afterwards. All right, I'm not fooling anybody, am I? But I don't try to expel a great long lesson on these devotions or even in the Sunday sermon. There's more to say. There's more that can be said. And often when we come to God's word, it's great to say what we have to say, to share our experience, our perspective of faith. But we need to make room. If we're going to be wise, we need to make room for what other people have to say. When we step outside of our lifelong learning in schools and into the rest of life. That's where much of our real learning and the application of all that previous learning takes place. And if it's all about what we know and what we can say in and of ourselves, we're not going to get very far. There's a lot of wisdom all around us, among our friends, in those who are administrating us, who are our bosses, who are more senior in their positions than we are. And as much as we can think, oh, we have the, the full education, maybe we go off and get copious numbers of university degrees or college certificates and diplomas. We need to listen to each other's experience. Whether we have those pieces of paper or whether we've read every book in a library, there's still a lot to learn from the people around us. So, if you've got something to say, sure, say it. But leave a moment, leave time for someone else to speak as well. And from time to time, stay silent and listen. And wait till the end. Wait till afterwards. And you may have that profound wisdom that guides the whole conversation into a beautiful application, maybe even as we discern together and work together, as we are drawn into truth. God bless, strengthen, and keep you. Amen.